I'll I'll get it on disc. I'm coming to San Francisco in a couple weeks. Oh, I'm nice. Gonna... Yeah, we'll do it that oh, way. Please. Yeah, because uh, I, I owe you for an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yes, I, I wonder. I wonder how Assassin's Creed is gonna gonna treat you. I wonder if you're gonna like fire it up and then just not play it. You you have much more patience with video games than I do. So, I do. I do. Yeah. We'll we'll see, but also there's better shit. <laughs> there's better shit. I mean, Judgment is a way better game. It's gonna be like a quite a fall off, I think. Can I? Uh, I might play Deathloop next. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how what all the quests you did, but. <laughs> Every time they give you the option to put on the disguise, I put on the vampire disguise to see if the game will notice, and nobody notices. I think I did wear that, but I don't remember what the scenario was. It's really good. It's just spectacular. This is the barbecue place, right? Um, yeah, that's the, that's the in. Uh, there's two of them. There's there's like a high end one in the in like the the high rise, and then that that's the one that's like in the busy street, right? The one that your yeah, exactly. the one that your uh, office is on. Yeah, and you're and you're you become buddies with the guy, but it's very unclear why. And what is his? You have to like go and help him like multiple times, right? I forget like what the uh... so many times. Yeah, you give him restaurant advice because you're a detective. <laughs> <laughs> like not even not even useful. You're just like, well, I guess I will detect some restaurant. Did you watch later. the credit scene in that game? I loved it. It was they delightful, wasn't it? It was so well directed and animated. How yeah, uh, uh, it was better than most of the cutscenes, to be honest. No, like, no, it was. Who, who, what is the name of your uh, your buddy again? Kaito. Kaito san. Yes, you know where he's like pointing out the window. He's like, no, 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 <laughs> look. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it's just spectacularly directed. Yeah, really good game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this whole the whole series is like singularly itself. And like the most movie-like games I've played. Yep, for sure. It's, it's great. <laughs> so uh, I think other than Deathloop, um, Eastward just came out today, I think. Oh, did it really? It looks really good. This thing, yeah. I think it's like God, fully it's... developed in China, which is cool. It's like it's so charming. Yeah. I, I've, uh, I've played a few games made by like American developers or mm-hmm. like western developers that are like st- like in china or using the china studio so like uh you know the ftl and into the breach team mm-hmm. they're like asian american but they like live in shanghai but like oh, this cool. is like a, i think maybe one of the first like full chinese games that i definitely will play i'm gonna play the look at this game i'll play the shit out of it, this it looks amazing yeah. yeah it's like every it's like someone took the current on trigger i remembered and like kind of like judged it up dramatically yeah i'll be honest with you like if we were to make like the game game of my dreams, it would basically be a Zelda like, but it's just such a hard, just such a tough hill to climb to make something like this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But this this is a Zelda like. Right? It is a Zelda like. It completely is. Oh, man, that's really cool. That's yeah. really really cool. <laughs> and I heard Gosh. it was good. They said it was equal parts um, Zelda, Earthbound, and itself, which is an amazing capsule description right holy cow yeah yeah. god it's i really i love this like i feel like i've noticed like the high def pixel art and it's like there's more animations and things on the screen than a snes could could register basically yeah yeah totally it's it's really classy i mean the one that like takes the cake is uh what's that cyberpunk one um narita boy no there's another one um starts with an r Replace, replacer or something like that, or replaced, past tense. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're totally right. This game is like, this is actually like the raddest looking game. Um, that <sighs> I think I've seen. I'll pay for YouTube like someday. <laughs> six to twelve months. <laughs> yeah, I watch a lot of YouTube now, so I paid for it. I paid for like a family account. So there's like no, five people that it makes, like get it. Oh, that's you, a good idea. Do you want to join my family? Okay. Oh God, what does it do to my Google account? Maybe I don't actually know. Okay. <laughs> like oh, this, yeah, this thing it's like, looks oh, wow. unbelievable. Wow, it's like right. It's like pixel perfect art, but every pixel on the screen is like moving and swaying. It's so 
Ah, oh, that's really intense. The other game, the other type of game I want to make is like a side-scrolling beat 'em up style, but with like um, full wall and ceiling mobility. So like you're mm-hmm. you can climb on the wall and like monkey bar the ceiling, you know, and maybe even grappling hook as well. <clears throat> Damn, this does look good. This I looks so good, one. right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And I think they're doing sub-pixel pixels, right? Like, there are some games that are, like, really into the pixel fidelity, so you, you can't actually move. Like, even if the pixels are zoomed up, they still move, like, a full pixel. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think this, this is, is, like... I mean, this is actually 3D rendered. It is, yeah, yeah. I think it's just a... Oh, man, that's so good. With, like, with like the characters are 2D planes, but it's doing a lot of... Yeah. Oh, it's so interesting. Yeah. Maybe they're actually 3D models. I don't understand. How I think they are 3D that. models for sure. What? I mean, there's like Unity add-ons that like give you a pixelized effect. I, I don't. I don't mm. think they actually look good as like a like a drop-in filter kind of thing. I think you need to art direct for it, right? You need to like design the assets for that style. Yeah. Have you noticed that all the good games are coming to Xbox only? I'm bummed, I'm bummed about I that. I kind of am aware of that. Like, what are what's, what are the other examples? Psychonauts um, two is that? I think that maybe the that's, last double. That's out on everything. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Xbox indie games. I feel like it was just like a lot of console stuff is like indie. It's like Xbox and PC indie games. Sure. Was like everything. I don't know. Uh, I mean, all, all this like looks tr- great. It just seems like a trend. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of things I saw. Oh, this one looks really fun. Oh, yeah. I totally saw this before. It looks great. Yeah. The like bizarre Tetris Dark Souls whatever this is. Yeah. Oh man, this this looks so good. Uh yeah, I really I don't understand this mechanic at all and it's really neat. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's got like the super lengthy attack animations, right? That's what they're going for here. Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep. God, that's neat. Yeah, uh, I, feel like, I, feel I like bet I this game has a bullshit parry. Oh yeah, yeah. I was I was very chuffed to find that uh, Judgment has a bullshit parry too. <laughs> I never learned how to. Is that is that Tiger Drop? It's Tiger Drop. Yeah, and it's just like you press, you get you get in your stance and you press triangle before they punch you and you lay them out like. <laughs> and you got works. good at it. No, I, I I've never gotten good at any parry in any video game. <laughs> I don't understand how to use them. Okay, well we're gonna make we're gonna make the bullshit parry game and then we'll get good. Get good. Um, how's this game going? Well, this game's good. You now have a, a tank that chases you, and can die. Oh, hooray! Amazing. Are the turrets back on? Oh god, yeah. they are. Ah, shit. He's gonna die. <laughs> He's gonna die. The tank's gonna die. Oh, poor tank. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> God, I love it. <laughs> These are really satisfying little creatures. Yeah. Nice. So, oh, so the rad. issue was that, uh, you know how we created multiple uh, uh, nav agent types? Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but I, 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 I caught a hint in a forum somewhere. And it was just a hint. It didn't really explain the principle. Um you can't have more than one type. Uh, I, I guess each navigation mesh only conforms to like one type of navigation agent, and oh. I, I really? don't know why it is that way, but it is. Because hmm. where's our where's our nav mesh component? Is it on the terrain? I don't remember. We have, I'm not sure we have a component that is the mesh itself. Um, yeah. Well, how does it know not to go beyond the, um, to not to go beyond the, the level boundary, for example? Right. That is a good question. I mean, is it because there's like, there's like this setting over here, the object settings for, nav mesh oh is it is it because we so is it set on the game object oh here we go 
Here's the nav mesh. Yeah, it's like its own thing over here. Where is that? It's uh, in the it, scene? Yeah. When just like uh, our camera is using the level, there, there's a couple things where like when you create the thing in Unity, it like takes your scene and makes a subfolder. Okay. And one of them was the nav mesh, I guess. Okay. And does that have an agent ID bound to it or anything like that? Agent, agent type, type zero. ID. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's 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 the issue. Uh, okay. And I don't know where you choose that, to be honest. Like, how, how would you possibly set this? Yeah. So it's, it's there is like even, a new yeah. nav mesh system that you can download as a package that has components that you can stick onto things. Right. I noticed, I noticed that they are actually even advertising that in here where they're like, really, this is bullshit. You don't need this to happen anymore. <laughs> Which, like, bless them for fixing it, but also... Yeah, because we were complaining about how, like, is this a global view, or is it scene-wide, or is it for the thing that you have selected? Which which is it going to be, guys, right? Mm -hmm. And thankfully, I think they understand that as well, yeah. but... <laughs> Did you know you can hold right-click and use WASD? Uh, wait, couldn't you use WASD anyway? Oh, Hold right keys, click, you can, and then you can, you can right use Q and E to go up and down. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Well, well, dang. That's pretty good. And if you hold shift, yeah, it goes fast. Sweet. No, I didn't know about this that. Is... See, I learned something today. <laughs> it's the uh, the standard the standard Photoshop modifier is uh, shift is ten times as as whatever you're doing. Well, that's a good policy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, capital. How come our shit is see through? Movement. I don't like that. Oh, uh, nav mesh. Don't know why, but the nav mesh view. Oh, uh, it it's because yes. the box mesh renderer is the cutout. So it's actually taking the black renderer because I think that's what's on the wall. Is the oh okay cool yeah yeah. Um, but then this outline is a, se a separate mesh that's not getting uh, removed. Yeah, very confusing. It's very confusing. I think we could do that a little better actually. It might be that our wall prefab is also the mesh renderer. Yeah, it's totally. Oh, you know what? No, there's no explanation for this. Because <laughs> this is at the top level. Nice. I take it back. Hey, can you Google the game Photonica with with an F on the front? This isn't our mood, our, our, our mood board, but I, I, I think this comes very close to the geometry, like the aesthetic that I want with the wireframes eventually. Although I do mm. want more colors, but like the terrain looks really good. This is this is like halfway between vector graphics and Oberdin. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, this looks. Is this an endless runner? This I think great. it's. I think it might be an endless runner. Yeah, but the the way the ground looks and the terrain, mm -hmm. like that these one. mountains. That doesn't that look yeah, the awesome. Mount, the mountains are killer. Yeah, and it, it's not like it's not. It's not like a full. Um, like elevation map or anything. Yeah, I don't. I or, don't know uh, what yeah. they're doing. And they've got some shading on the mountainside there. I don't. I don't know. How, I don't know how, what makes the decision to do to do it that way. But like, do you see that? Mm -hmm. Just like extra, or or do you think that's just actual? Like they drew in a bunch of cross hatches. I wonder because it's also there's like a little something on one of the early ones. Oh, I like this. Uh, got that camera camera fuck up. God, this thing looks cool. Like those, those are cross hatches. Yeah, might be a bunch of cross hatches. That's just geometry, it, then, right? And it, it's actually, it's actually that. <laughs> I was watching are... this dude. Uh, who, like, I watch like Blender tutorials, and this guy's <laughs> like, he calls the geometry geo. <laughs> He's like, yeah, so that's actual geo right now. <laughs> it was, it was so hip. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, I felt very old listening to that guy talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so these, I mean, this is interesting. I like this. This is the technique where every line is always exactly one pixel on the screen, no matter the distance, because you get closer and it's quite sparse. But yeah, yeah. At a distance, it's I think this is, a, this is a screen space effect. Yeah. Neat. It looks so good with the blue on it, too. It looks good, yeah. but yeah. I, I don't know if we can achieve this directly because... Well, we haven't tried it really, but like we want mm -hmm. different colors, right? But they're able to get different oh, yeah. colors here. It's just that they're not wireframed, right? Yeah. Well, and also like these other, yeah, the other colors are. 
Right. It's a single a single wireframe pass with the screen space. Yep. Did you what? see there was a um there's a, a new Hubble Unity bundle today actually? One oh, of them really? was like an out, an outline shader, yeah. FPS. Highlight plus. Right. Yeah. Probably probably not quite what we want, but yeah. always curious. So this what is the name of this is. bundle again? This is the FPS, FPS bundle. Game dev assets. Uh, I wonder. I was gonna say, there's actually like there's some fun kit bashing stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. I, I think these are probably always worth it's always, it. Always, always seems to be worth it, yeah. right? Because it's what is it going to be for us if we buy these every time? It'll be like thirty bucks every couple of months, maybe, or is it once a month mm -hmm. that these come out? I don't know. I mean, I, they've been they've been doing a bunch, but like yeah. even still, seems seems fine. Yeah, there's just there's always there's a bunch of interesting stuff in here as usual. Oh, there was also some interesting AI stuff, which uh, okay, yeah, yeah, it might be might be worth pulling on. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, this effect. Ah, this, is, this is a really really neat one. Yeah, it just looks really good. It it looks really good. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Now, if this is a screen space effect, I'm wondering how they're doing. Um, you see the seams in the ground. <laughs> Like oh, a, yeah, because because hmm. normally the, the times that you draw a line is if there's a big difference in depth. Mm -hmm. or, sorry, yeah, a big difference in depth between two pixels or a big difference in normal. And it doesn't look like there's either of that. You know, it's just a straight road. And if there's like horizontal lines, presumably on either side of the line, it's probably just going to be. I wonder. I wonder if they just went in and modeled the line because if you've got your screen space effect. Is it is it easier to write a very complicated shader, or just to put lines in your model? Um, well, how how do they? How, well, the lines are 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 geo, right? They're not they're not yeah, yeah. textures, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it is it actually like a one one tiny unit high? Uh, I think it could barrier. be, except that um, they're the same size going off into the distance. And if they weren't, you would expect to see some mm. foreshortening and, and some shrinking uh, going on. Mm. Right, because as as they go further away, there's they're the, still the mm -hmm. same size. Oh, and Good they've point. got your chromatic app. Is this is chromatic aberration that that this we're seeing? chromatic aberration? Okay. Yeah, yes, I love it. Yeah, classy, classy hacking effect. <laughs> Anyways, really cool. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I like it. Other games coming out. Judgment two. I'm pumped. We've already talked about this game like a million times on stream, but like, and apparently it's like the politics are a little bit more aggressive this time around. But I'm still, I'm still into it. There, I mean, their politics are always kind of <laughs> like God, God, they try, yeah, um, yeah, but they also seem to miss a lot. I mean, they're kind of it's Gonzo filmmaking, right? Like, it's not, it's it's ultimately not trying to be highbrow, which is, I think. But honestly, like the attempts they make are good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, God, what was it? One of the one of the weird friend quests in Judgment was like the girl at the hostess club who like everyone just won't stop talking about her breasts. Yes, and you go and like get drunk with her, and you basically talk to her about other stuff. <laughs> Right, and she's like, you talked about absolutely nothing about them, but every other character interacts with that way. And I'm just like, it, it's like a little weird, but also like endearing and sweet. Because you're just trying to be nice to people. Like that's kind of like, like extremely like, nice. Yeah, yeah like half the game is you just walking around town being nice to people, you know? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I think the tone they pick and the way they handle stuff is always like pretty darn sensitive and like... yeah. I actually appreciate that they've gone back and edited some of their like weird transphobic stuff from the first couple games. They were just like, you know what, we didn't we didn't need that particular side quest. Sure. Oh, I didn't even like, know that they did that. I'm glad they did. In in one and two, yeah, in the Kiwami remix, they like cut a bunch of stuff out that okay. was like unnecessary. Yeah. Um, and very like probably 2002 or whatever it was, right? That's great. And they weren't like, no, it's like it's part of the game kind of bullshit, right? No, they they were just like they were just like, yeah, that was a bad choice. Let's. Like, <laughs> Like since we're redoing this, like let's not redo that. Yeah, <laughs> which like I appreciate. Sweet. Yakuza Zero is still, still the top notch for me though. Mm. I'll never get enough uh, Majima in my life. 
<笑>キリュウちゃん What was weird was he, he was also just super nice. <laughs> like every one of their characters can only be nice. I really,、yes. I really like it. Yeah. Oh. All right. What should we make this little tank do?、Uh, oh, yeah.、Uh, good question.、Uh, I think what we were talking about before was like we wanted to shoot at you too. So maybe there's like a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right. So well, there, that, that's a problem. I don't want it. I don't want them to be able to push you.、Um, no. <laughs> so they need to be. They need to have like a minimum distance that they're willing、mm-hmm. to get from you. In fact, if there's a way that we can change the collision so they don't push you at all, that would be great. That seems correct, right? Yeah. Fuck, that's really that's really annoying. <laughs> Oh, And now you're stuck this... in the wall. Yeah, this is like classic glitch territory. You can go, you can go, you can go out the wrong way, but not, not ever the right way. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why you're allowed to be rammed into the wall, though. That seems like something、really、the physics、shouldn't... engine should take care of. It. The whole thing is about objects colliding. Like, yes. Shouldn't shouldn't the forces stop each other? Ah. <laughs>、uh, okay. Um, well, let's. I'm gonna figure out what to do about that first, because I think we know the magic incantation for making this not push us around, just to make it a trigger. Is that right? Uh, but yes. Let's try that. Although, let's see if that allows us to drive through them. I, I, I expect so. Yeah. Which is, we want that, right? Or do we want it just not to push us? Yeah. Is that too weird? Uh, it's not too weird. I, I, I think I imagine that the tank will just stop.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so funny that it goes backwards. It, it sort of slides around like that in tight, tight corners. I think we need to make it so that it like. Oh, we. I don't think we're we're not modifying any of the. Oh, it is. It is kind of turning, I guess. Yeah, it's the.、Uh, it's it. This is this is completely the、uh, the nav mesh agent doing all the turning. Hmm. Interesting. I do kind of wonder. If we should manage the turning using the same code that we turn our tank, and don't give it any, don't give it any angular speed. Hmm. The, the problem is, is that the nav mesh agent, like, I don't know if it exposes a, a like a vector, like which direction are we currently going. It moves pretty differently, though. Yeah. Yeah. You want us to go faster? Yeah. Uh, I want it. I want it to at least behave sort of like us, which is no no ramp up acceleration and faster faster turning. Yeah. The problem though is that it will always be faster than you if you set the speed equal because it can go at angles besides、mm-hmm. north northwest west. You know, it can go at at at, sh- at sharper、right. angles in forty five. So it's it, it's always going to catch up to you. Gotcha.、Yeah. I do think.、Uh, yeah, we should manage turning because letting it. Turn on its own is a little weird. Yeah, it's nicer. It's nicer when it's turning faster like this, but it's still pretty weird. Yeah. So as、okay. long as the nav mesh agent gives us a vector on where it's heading,、mm-hmm. or we, what we can do is we can take the previous position and subtract it from the current position. That that'll give us a direction vector, and that's what we're turning towards. Something like that. Okay. Um. So sorry, did you think that the being able to move through it was good or bad? Um, we can move through other multiplayer players right now, right? We don't collide with each other. What is the? I think you drive over them, right? Was that was that what it was? Oh shit, that did happen. So maybe maybe we did make it so you don't run into each other. Yeah. I, honestly,、okay. I think this is fine. I think this is. I think pass through is okay. They're not walls and.、Mm-hmm. It is weird、nice. tactically, though. I, I think what I would like, honestly, is if you couldn't push each other, but you couldn't drive over each other. Okay. That feels like the best, but I'm not sure what that means. I do agree. Do we have Do we have anything in terms of like, like we're we're in this physics system? Does anything have weight? <laughs> uh oh! You want like infinite mass? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 
isn't I feel like that's usually the or that's just a way I've thought about making something unmovable. Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe we can just Google Unity Character Controller. Don't allow pushing. Something like that. Cool. There we go. Oh, this is the opposite. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Everything is everything wants the opposite of what we have. That's too bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh God! Is there a second component? Uh, this is from 2014. Who knows? Okay. I don't remember seeing 2012. a twelve. I don't remember seeing, seeing a rigid, rigid body character controller. Yeah, I think there was. I thought there was just. I'm surprised there's no controller. mass because that's essentially. Oh, rigid body has mass. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I got you. So the, the character controller, ah, that's right. It's These like are going to be two separate physics objects, which is a little bit tricky. Right. We can we could be a rigid body and manage ourselves. Yeah. Um, and I wonder if the network agent is sort of a similar thing. So, so wait, uh, sorry, nav mesh agent. Nav, nav mesh agent unity. Mass. For the um, for the capsule collider, is it mm -hmm. is it a is it a is it kinematic? Mm, is that not a, a that's not a choice? That's for... a rigid body property. Yeah. Okay, that's a rigid body property. Okay. So should it be a rigid body rather than a collider? It's actually, I mean, it seems like it's both actually. Um, add a collider component, add and a, then rigid, add a body. rigid body. Yeah. So let's do this and let's give it, I don't know. And it's supposed to be kinematic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious. So this, this is the low mass object. Okay. See what happens when this runs into me. <laughs> what is my jerk. what is my mass? <laughs> yeah, I like I what I, I wonder what code is moving the character controller. Hmm. Any character controller set mass. Uh huh. Character controller is basically okay. If it's kinematic, why is it getting pushed? Is my question. That is a great question. Yeah. Well, it's getting pushed by the ground, right? Like, I think the character controller has some logic to get to like extricate itself from collisions. Mm. Maybe it's the character huh. controller that's like trying to remove overlaps from rigid bodies and that's mm -hmm. that's actually what's causing the pushing yeah honestly it's sort i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling pushed towards dropping the character controller po possibly not right at this moment but um yeah i i, I think we should do that eventually as well because honestly i don't like how it feels to drive it around but it's not the biggest mm -hmm. deal in the world uh, maybe mm -hmm. we should just call call the uh enemy tank a trigger and just start with that yeah. yeah as long as you can still kill the enemy tank then you can still you can still shoot it yeah okay um and we'll rely on the nav mesh agent to avoid things because it, it probably can't it probably is not repelled by walls right now because oh, it's a that's trigger. true yeah but so the nav mesh agent takes care of it. that's right but if we had knockback we will uh, absolutely bust things up yeah if we knock it knock through a wall yeah yeah, it's funny actually. This is it's it's something that is purely following the rules. Cute. Yeah.
So I, I think one of the things that will alleviate this is that, like, I think as long as the enemy tank has line of sight, mm -hmm. there should be a minimum distance that it maintains from the player. Yep. That's one rule that we could have. Yep. Yep. I was going to say, that's the, that's the next thing we can drop in here. And, and that's like the approach yep. distance or something like that? Or just call it min distance to player or something like that. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is range here? Uh, we didn't end up using it, I don't think. I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I think maybe we just... We're saying destination. Yeah, yeah. I think everything none, for fifty eight down. Happening. Everything yeah. for fifty eight down was just like us f screwing around, or me okay. screwing around. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do like mid distance, and we'll say like I don't know three units. Yeah, or even even two. It's fine. Um, I think we should ha we should still have line of sight though, right? So if we don't have line of sight, mm -hmm. we should return. Hmm. So I well, think what is, um, I think the stanza below is the line of sight check. Uh, physics, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Um, we recast. So, uh, but wait, how do we? Returning is not quite right because the navigation don't keep moving. We want to set the navi the destination to like itself. Basically, I, I I think there's two different rules that we could put here. One is the one that you just said, but I think the first one is that if you don't have line of sight to the player, you should always move. It doesn't matter what your distance to the player is. You should just continue to move. Okay. Does that make sense? Because that because yeah. you might be close to the player, but you might be on the other side of a wall, right? And so you, we want that we want the. Um... Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm just trying to figure out how how we what is our control over movement at all. It's not. It's not returning from update. It's like setting the destination. Like, how do we stop the nav agent? Oh yeah, uh, good question. Uh, let's look at the nav nav agent API. Maybe there's a way to like officially stop it, right? The other thing I could imagine is just setting the destination to the current position. That, that, that's that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, it's like, do we have to do we have to remove the destination? Stop. Come on. Okay. Well, that's not a hundred percent what we want. Oh, it's not. You're right. Yeah. Again, like we want, we want the t we want the enemy tank to go around a, a wall if mm -hmm. he's th they're separated from the player. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the thing? The other thing we were looking for. Were you looking for a direction in here? Um, the current direction, yeah. Hmm. There's also desired velocity there. That might be the direction that the that the agent wants to take. Hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Okay. Current pass. Okay, so yeah, it does. It does seem like just saying the destination is really our only option. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, we got next mission too. Okay, cool. Damn, it's too bad. Stopping distance is like a really nice property if it worked. Yeah. Trace a straight path toward the target. So wait, is there actually a nav mesh agent dot raycast just? Always available. That's kind of handy. Oh, true. If there's an obstacle between the agent and the target position, great. This is what that's, we want. Yeah, that's really great. That that actually, yeah. Uh, ah, cool. All all of this can go. Yeah. So if there is an obstacle between, then we return early. Uh, yes. Nav mesh hit. 
uh, target dot transform dot position. Okay, I'm I'm always confused by the returns value and up and write something to an out. Right. Uh, it's not my favorite pattern. Oh, right. And this needs out. I'm not. I'm not used to this at all. I've been I've been in fun Ruby and JavaScript land too long. Yeah, this is kind um, of like a C programming convention. Oh yeah, you can tell. Go I've never as well C, does C, this a lot. I, yeah. yeah, you can tell I've never written C in production. Yeah, for better or worse. Um, sure. If there's okay. So if there's an obstacle, agent dot destination equals transform dot. Oops. Transform dot position. Uh, I think what we're saying is that if you don't have line of sight, oh. you should just return. Yep. Just continue doing what you were doing. Oh, true, true, true. Okay. Yeah. That's a great point. So if we can see it. Yeah, uh, and I think you might be able to inline the nav mesh declaration there. You might be able to do out nav. You might be able to do like nav mesh hit. Or even out new nav mesh hit. Is that how do you... Parentheses, yeah. Is that okay? It's not gonna. It's not playing ball. It's like I want. I want like out null or something. Uh, not... You have to pass something, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, this is define output parameter. You try try yeah, searching it's... C sharp ignore output parameter or something like that. Oh yeah, good point. Now we're talking. Oh, out underscore. Oh fuck yes, Beautiful. much better. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we're saying if. Um, dot distance running distance is less than uh yeah is less than or equal less. to uh the min distance target then we set the destination exactly then we stop why are you doing that to me is transform not uh do you... Uh, do you script dot transform because we're not in the we're in a state oh, machine, right? Yeah. Beautiful. It's not. Maybe we can get rid of the state machine for now. We're not using it right now, so. Uh, um, no. I mean, we're gonna add patrolling. We should keep okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we have one state, I know exactly what we want for an AI. So yeah. That makes sense. Is it playing? There we go. There's a weird thing where sometimes the button gets selected and it doesn't go into play mode, and it, I just stare at it for ten seconds. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Weird. Maybe remaining distance is doing something weird. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just it take the. Take the distance. Take the actual distance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that seems right. Um, vector three dot distance between. Yeah. Do we need an else here? Not really. I mean, I guess the else is this. Uh, kind of, but we want that. We want that to happen for above line fifty-eight as well. So does it matter? Well, it does because if we return early on line fifty fifty-nine, we still want oh, it to right. pursue the, uh, the player. Of course, yeah. yeah. If you right. think that this is confusing, what we could do. is start by 
setting the nav mesh agent's destination to the current position. And then we can make it we can make these like actual function calls to, that say what we mean. So it's like stop by mm -hmm. default. But then if you don't have line of sight, pursue. And if you're not mm -hmm. within the minimum if you haven't reached the minimum distance, also pursue. Something like that, right? That'd be a little bit more mm -hmm. explicit. Yep. Okay. I can see something like that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if this Yeah, this is. I think this is what I'm, this is more what I expected. <laughs> it's like a dog. <laughs> yeah, it's really really funny. Yeah, I bet minimum distance should probably be more like eight, right? Yeah, uh, or at least four. Yeah, like whatever we think that the stop and shoot. And it's just, and there should also be a threshold where it starts shooting. I think. As I say before, before we factor this, I kind of wanted to go and do some, get some shooting, get the turret turning in here too. Because yeah. that would be rad. This thing is going to kill us so fast. The turrets were bad enough. <laughs> Being chased by something with perfect aim is going to be really rough. Uh, when it's that close, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. Six. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the speed down on this sucker a little bit too. Okay, yeah, three and a half was was okay. Three and a half was pretty good. Yeah, that was the default. I, I don't always I don't always trust the default, but that was a good default. I guess if this is all human scaled, right? So mm -hmm. three and a half meters per second. I don't know what that is actually. That, I don't know what the de de denominator is there. Is that how fast we walk? Is that no, three and a half meters is like a, probably a pace is like a, a, like a meter is basically like one one step, mm. right? Mm -hmm. That's what like how how they measured yards. Yards are basically paces, right? That's true. So maybe maybe it's a um, maybe it's like a running person is three and a half. Yeah, yeah, that might be right. Yeah, because it's like a character running through a town, right? That's what they're. Mm -hmm. That's probably what their default is. Yeah. Um. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Although, I don't know, you could probably walk three steps in a second and you wouldn't be too hurried, right? One, 1,000. That feels like more like two steps to me, but whatever. I think two, yeah. yeah. What is the average human step per second? Walking speed, yeah. 1.4 meters 1. per second. So, yeah, that's, that's roughly a third of... All that many people have cap are capable of walking faster. They choose not to. <laughs> Thanks Individuals for find slower, faster speeds uncomfortable. This is not helpful. <laughs> Where's the citation? <laughs> I'm sure there is one. There's a whole article. There's a there's a longer article about preferred walking speed than I expected. Yeah. I, I gotta like who writes the Wikipedia articles that are like sometimes joint pain makes you walk slower. I'm just like like. Encyclopedias are useful, but also, like, aren't these just things that you know? Wikipedia, like, it's so funny when you get to a, a Wikipedia article that's clearly controversial. <laughs> um, I was telling you about that professor who who did that. He, he was he, there was a video of him like talking about the Israel Palestine conflict, and he was basically telling off a zionist person like you know what oh, like that, if, that video is great yeah yeah if you you know if if you feel bad for people you should feel bad for the palestinians like that's basically his message and mm -hmm. if you go to his wikipedia page it's very clearly been like graffiti oh, by no. zionists yeah anti-zionist professor wikipedia yeah that guy that guy's a norman, oh, yeah, norman Finkelstein. Finkelstein. yeah he's this guy's amazing he's 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 great he's he has a lot of integrity you know mm-hmm um, he's combative, but, um, I mean, honestly, like I kind of like, how could you not be at that point if you're like, yeah, trying to shoot that down at every, every turn. Yeah. Wow. He got denied entry to Israel. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. He got denied tenure, um, at Purdue, I think, or was it Princeton? I don't, I don't remember what it was, but, um, at, Paul? at, uh, least, at least one. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Um, you know what? I would I would love to make those kind of enemies. 
Seem, yeah. Seems like he did a good job. Yeah, the, the academic establishment. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, all right, Coke. So uh, I was actually going to say, I was thinking I was going to get min distance and min shooting. Oh, distance, hey, uh, gonna... actually, one thing real quick. Uh, I realize that. Yeah. This is already getting confused. If, if find target fails, we should probably mm -hmm. not move, right? So. Oh. So we need to set the agent's position to its current position, something like that, right? Yep, that seems right. Yeah. Oh, God, agent doesn't even exist. We yeah, there you go. Agent. Nice. <laughs> right, find target. Yeah. Okay, so um, navigate with man distance. And then this is start shooting if in range. Uh, what the shooter? Player input? Player input. I'm just curious how we did the pillar. No, not the pillar, the turret? No, barrel. Crap, what do they call that thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it is, I thought it was the turret. Is it the turret? So the the tank has a turret, but also we have turrets. That's oh, I think we have a shooter though. I, th I think we have a shooter component, maybe. Uh, no, that's shooting tank behavior. Oh, I think I think it's just your VS Code has has some cache in there because I you know how I've deleted the uh, the mirror examples. Oh, God, that's great. Uh, I'm thrilled. Uh, so I think we have, we have player input, which actually is doing spawn bullets. So this is, I think I think you're reading player shooter to player input because that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we do have turret, which also is doing a little of this. So we found our target. We're looking at it. And this is if they're. Do we want to be shooting? Shooting is tricky. I, I think what's funny about this is that we have to think like a tank, and a tank has yeah. legs that move independently of its gun. Mm -hmm. And I think it's actually two overlapping state machines that maybe don't have anything to do with each other, which is maybe why interleaving these two things might be a little bit tricky. Maybe in the uh, oh, I like it. in this update we have a movement update and we also have a shooter shooting update and then that way we can we can work with those two things independently okay how does that feel that feels good we, call, we we basically just call both of those during the update okay do you think it i mean do you think we actually do need a second state machine i don't know yet so okay. for now we stuff it into this one and then then we can maybe have a second state machine if we wanted to. Okay, I'm down with that. Yeah. Um, oh, and find target is setting. It's setting a private thing. Okay, great. So then we have yeah. Um, an update. Yep. Let's do it. And I guess target needs to be. Oh, get, target is a is a local variable. That's, that, that's what I was looking for in the first time. I was just yes. like, do is target always there? Yeah. So I think the if target is null, that line seventy two to or line seventy three to seventy five, mm -hmm. that should be copied and pasted into the top of movement update. Okay. Because that's a yeah, motion. Actually, thing. yeah. Yeah. Good. Good point. Okay. Actually, agent doesn't matter here anymore. Cool. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we have another thing that if target equals null, then return. In this. In here as well. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's true. Uh, we might need to like update the cooldown in here or something like that, but mm -hmm. maybe that's the first thing we do is just like if the cooldown is greater than zero, we decrement the cooldown and then return something like that. And and we're gonna need. Private float, cool down. 
Oh, and that's that lives over here. Mm -hmm. Got to remember, there's more classes. Do oh, this is a static, so it's accessible everywhere. Nice. Yeah. Big fan. And then cooldown yeah. should equal zero, I think, um, just as this. Oh, uh, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Cooldown is like how much more we should wait. Does it automatically initialize to zero? It it, it does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That was never mind. That was the I learned that on the last stream. Good. Uh, you taught me that. I forgot it. I know. On, I know. Go goes out of its way to initialize everything to the zero value, but I did not know that C sharp does that. It makes sense. Yeah, C C sharp does, which is really cool. Um, do we have time dot delta? We do an update. Yeah. Great. And then return, cool. or do we still want to uh, rotate towards? Do we? Well, we're um, we cool cooldown always modifies. Then if we have no target, we stop acting. But cooldown still needs to run. But now we can rotate towards the target. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. And we're basically acting like a turret at this point, right? So yeah. So we're gonna be we're gonna be following the target everywhere. Yep. We're going a little weird, but um, we could do it only if we're in, we're in range, right? Or only if we only if we can see you, range or, or vision. Hmm. I think both. Yeah, I think line of sight. What's gonna be What's gonna be weird on line of sight is that like the turrets have a have a snap. Like oh, they're just gonna pop and shoot at you. Right. We don't we don't have the like the gun is aiming across the plane to to get to you. So how about there's always going to be a pop unless we're const unless we're tracking the player from across the screen, sorry from across the scene. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be a pop unless we control firing by intentionally rotating the turret at some speed and only firing if we're actually able right. to turn to hit the player, right? Right, it's like a, a second ray cast is like, are you are you pointed in the correct direction enough? Right. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, which is what this was intending to do, wasn't it? Let's see how the turrets work again. Did the turrets follow you from across the scene? <laughs> Maybe it's fine. Maybe we're already doing it. I think, th I think they do. Okay. Um, They do, and they follow you pretty perfectly, don't they? Uh, well, there's there's a minimum, there's a range. Like the neutrals up there aren't 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 aiming at you, right? In the upper right, the neutrals aren't aiming at you. Oh, weird! And yeah, they pop. Right. See, they pop right there. So, so, so in, those yeah. the turrets suffer from the same issues that um, I think. Okay. Honestly, the I, player's know. turret should probably obey this logic as well. Where I, I don't know how that would feel. That might feel really bad. Like if there was a, a maximum velocity that the, the the turrets can can rotate at. Oh, like yeah, that that might feel terrible. I wonder. Like you yeah, you, you want to be able to shoot in that in in a particular direction, like right away, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think the player is limited by the mouse control at the very least, which is. I don't know how that would feel. I mean, we could. I, I yeah. think we should. We should. Not right now, but we should play with it at some point and mm -hmm. see, like, because it looks bad. Like the, the the turret kind of wagging around does kind of look bad, right? Yep. Um, yeah, agreed. Okay, so i I guess I guess let's go with snapping here. We'll match the turrets. Um, I do. I feel like I feel like there's basically going to be a pretty nice option for a like shared enemy rotational component. Right. <laughs> component. Yeah. Um, sweet. Okay. Let us see it then. So we're going to need this sucker. And it's going to be called turret. <laughs> um, OK, so in the state machine, I want to have a property I can assign to my enemy tank script. So I'm going to make a public. This is the turret. Yeah. A public game object turret. What does the player input do? Or did we figure out how how the uh, how the the player tank does this? 
Uh, yeah. Um, the player tank has the public. Oh, tank yeah, turret. Yeah, yeah. So the same, same, same deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, call, I'm gonna call this tank turret. Yes. He's driving, <laughs> driving me crazy. Yeah. You can do a rename oh, rename, rename symbol on that if you. If you yeah, feel yeah. Like yeah. I was, oof, tank turret. Oh, that's gonna break your uh, reference in uh, the editor. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I need to set the reference on the other prefab anyway now. Yeah. I accept. The name turn. Uh, I I didn't uh, appreciate this before, but um. It didn't. Any break. kind of like it's cross worse. database relationship. We're essentially making database relationships here, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or pointers. Anything like that is easier to manage in text files than it is inside like an editor. We didn't really have a choice uh, in, in, our, in Manchester, the web version of mm. Manchester. Oh, script. Uh, because it was all sort of a single context, you mean? It was all, it was all text files as well. Mm. Oh, yes, true. Sure. Yeah. Okay, there we go. But that wasn't scalable, right? Do you remember us, like, that model modifiers thing, how we were, like, typing in the string name of the... It was, it was hard. Uh, of, of the uh, nodes, I'm, yeah. Yep. I'm very happy with what we have right now. <laughs> uh, From this angle, the tank looks like a, like a boat in, like, a Popeye cartoon. <laughs> oh, totally does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. A little, little steamboat Mickey going on here. Yeah. All right, that's the player. Have you been? Were you the one who told me to watch What If, the Marvel show? Uh, I think we were talking about it. I, I, I don't know if I recommended it per se. I think it's. Okay. I think it's good. I watched a couple episodes. I, I think it's neat. Yeah. The animation is like. The animation oh, so is good. great. It's like. I feel like the first time that that like, three D cell shaded animation has worked for me mm. in a in a in a tv show yeah and i'm trying to I, think I what feel other like examples are yeah it's like the technique they use in like all those i feel like i've seen i've seen animation where it's like hand-drawn stuff and then they're like this is too complex to hand draw we're gonna like see cell shaded cgi this like battle scene or something but it always um, looks like, discontinuous to me in those situations. It looks so discontinuous yeah. when they do that. Yeah. And, yeah. and this is like, they took the other technique and they're like, what if we just went really hard into that? And it's, it yeah. reminds me of the, the Spider-Verse animation a little bit. That's it's the other like, example I was going to bring up because Spider-Verse, yeah. I, I think, does that really, really well where it, it is like fully 3D, but um, they were able to bring in enough like hand-drawn emulation it's let's stellar. call it yeah it yeah and, and that that movie is uh, this, i think everything about it they they nailed like 10 out of 10 that's so good it's weird how oversaturated my life is spider-man but like that one was still so enjoyable i think that might have been one of my like favorite movies of the last few years to be honest mm -hmm. it beat the pants off literally every other marvel movie which is wild. yes yeah the the art direction was so incredibly good yeah, was, did you did you, really did you watch the some of the making of videos where they were talking about how they they animated oh. um, um they animated Miles Morales on, on twos but every, everybody else was was 24 fps like animating yeah. on twos means that you you only change frames like once every other frame mm -hmm. so but that but like our eyes are trained to like think of that as like cartoony you know um and so when Weird. he's when he's still kind of like struggling, you'll see him, and he's actually animating at like half the frame rate as, as everybody else, or at least hmm. he's not moving slower, but like he's jerkier, I guess. I I did notice that I was I did not I did not know what the effect was though. Does he catch up when he like? He, yeah, once learns? he gets good, he becomes full full frame rate. At, oh, at the that's end of the so movie. interesting. Because yeah. I really I really like that effect. They added it to the Miles Morales game. Uh, yes, like. And it's like, yeah, one of the one of the suits is like you you operate at like fifteen FPS or something, and it's really sick. Yeah, and then like all of his, um, and the motion is just drawn in with like hand drawn motion blur. You know, it's not like they, they it's rather rather than uh, actually animating him that quickly, they just apply the motion using you know blur, and that stuff. That's so cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, that that was a real that a real tour de force. There's there's no way they're not making a second one. So yeah. Oh yeah, turret time. Nice, love yeah, it. Yeah, looks good. All right, so uh, uh, so let's see if if line of sight. I mean, I guess we can. I'm just gonna get the Asian again. Is there is there a cost to this? There's probably not not a huge. Cost. Um, it's it. There is runtime cost. So if you wanted, okay. we could add it to the constructor, maybe something like that. Or well, or the, it. At, at the very least, like do this. And it is it. like literally iterating over the list of components in the object, and then saying, "Do you have type ID X in it?" And it's probably really? iterating over like five items, so it's not that big. But it, that's what Get Component is doing. Cool. Well, I I am going to train myself to use these sparingly. Okay. Yeah. One 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 per update, I think, is probably plenty. The, yeah, you know, I, I'm okay. I'm okay pulling it out okay. every function because like we're accessing the script in other locations and it's weird when you pass in a piece of the script even though the whole script is still available to you um i don't know it's up it's up to you like i think right now we're mm -hmm. we're optimizing but we're not sure whether or not there's an actual cost to it or is it really just the typing that you find um is it the is, would you rather just not repeat yourself it's it's like i feel like i'm in i mean i'm in a context and to do the same thing twice okay the, the recommendation I would make here, then, is add this as a private instance variable and set it in the constructor. OK. Um, of the? Of the state machine. Uh, this, of the whole state machine. Uh, uh, or of this script Yes, state, exactly. Yeah. So line 27 there. Yeah, just just make that. Interesting. Oh, I can just do it right here. Ah, neat, 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 neat. Cool. OK. I like that. Yeah, because we're not doing any null checks on this. We're it feels yeah. like we're really just yeah. yeah. Cool. Agent equals. Yeah, totally. There you go. Nice. Is. Oh, never used. Sure. You got me there. Yeah, you know, I feel I feel pretty good about that. That's nice. Did it insist on making it read only? What is it complaining about? No, yeah, it wants to be read only. Cool. Okay. That's nice that it cares. Yeah. Oh gosh, I like to sort by variable name, and this makes it very hard with these properties and types. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I also want to auto align that. Okay. Yeah. We'll get We'll figure out formatting someday. Yeah. Uh, all right. So if we can raycast, then we shoot. And I guess if we're in cooldown too. Oh, if not. So if false, false is true. <laughs> and cooldown less than or equal to zero. Cooldown equals shot TTL, which we can stick up here. And then we do all this. Ah, do we need to be in a command? No, we're running on the server. We're Maybe running on the server. Just... Yep. Yeah, we can just spawn bullets. Sweet. Uh, let's do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> What is net ID? Huh. And net ID is script dot. Oh, because it's a gotcha. Huh. Uh, sc okay, script is a network behavior, right? Script is, is yeah, because we're, yeah. Yep. Perfect. Cool. All right. Well, then we're going to need 
spawn point and yeah. bullet prefab. And it's become script hub. Mm -hmm. I like the system. It's taking a second to get used to it. Yeah. But it's not it's bad. It's pretty handy. Mm -mm. It's nice that it's so good at actually correctly typing this all the way through, because otherwise it'd be really annoying. Yeah. So far today, it's been good. It's been well behaved. I I closed everything down and we started everything from scratch. That's yeah. the that's how you got to start every work session apparently. Just regenerate all the CS proj files. I guess I always if, start Unity first. If there was an API call that Unity the Unity like app would expose so that we could regenerate the CS proj files and then reload OmniSharp in one VS Code command, it'd be pretty nice. I'll think on that one. Hey. It's gonna kill me <laughs> very slowly. Huh. <laughs> now, the turrets have the same SHA TTL and just go to town on you. Uh, yeah, I don't understand it either. Like the shirt, the shirt. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, those are tuned in the prefab. Oh, yes. I see. They're, they're not two. They are 0.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to slow these down just a touch. <laughs> they've, they've been a little, they're a little oppressive. Yeah. Yeah. What's the, what's the cooldown for uh, the player? Because it should be the same between tanks, right? Good point. Yeah. I think maybe these should all be like loaded into like some kind of like database somewhere based on like uh, this, gun like weapon type or something like that. I was gonna yeah. say this is a great place to use scriptable objects and yes. be like drag and drag and dropping them into whatever weapon whatever thing's supposed to have a weapon. Yeah, so. or, or, yeah, exactly. Or even it's like a um Yeah, we have like a table of yeah. Scriptable object basically means a table that you can you can edit inside the editor, right? That's basically what it is. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's dangerous. And will they shoot at you? <laughs> attempt to shoot at you, even if you're really far away? Oh shit! The neutral turrets will do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I fucked it up. Um, will it attempt to shoot at me far away? So it has. That's a good question. I'll see. Are the are are the pickups stopping the bullets? Oh shit. So it starts shooting at you further, further than the range the, of the, the gun. Yeah. Well, I gave it. Um, we have min shooting distance, which we're not using. Oh, we're not using that. Interesting. Oh, because we're just doing line of sight. We're not even checking that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm fine with that. Who needs it? Um, are the pickups stopping the bullets? Okay, let's find out. That would be weird. Do the bullets explode once they hit the max range? Or do they just die? I don't think we added explosions mm. except if you get hit, right? I think that's right, okay. yeah. Let's go kill this guy real quick. Oh my god. There we go. Oh no. Uh, I think they just need to be triggers, right? I thought they were. <laughs> Let's see what's in the prefab. Uh, pickups. Nope. Oh, goodness. There are triggers. Huh. Do, do they need to be on a different layer? Because um, didn't didn't you turn something off for the bullets? Uh, what do bullets? What does the bullet mover do? Can we can we can we look at that? Yeah. On trigger. Okay, so when I enter a trigger. And other bullets. Hmm. Um, oh, what did what did you change? You changed something so you couldn't so you could spawn on top of bullets, which is fine. Yeah. Or object other equals layer. I I, I think. We should need we, to we create like a shootable component or something like that. That I mean, I feel like it's damageable. We're 
if damageable is not null, we're doing this, and then we're still blowing up. So maybe we should like, if damageable is null, return. That's fine. It it means we can't have invincible things unless we change the way that we handle damage. Hmm. Or invincible things just don't don't they just ignore their health, so their health can go infinitely negative or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like one well, maybe like damageable. Maybe there should be like damageable dot take damage something like that yeah exactly and then and then that's sort of taken care of in that sense yeah. so yeah yeah if you're if you're not able to receive damage then we just stop doing that stuff yeah that seems right yep. and then it's not i mean technically we don't need this exactly we don't point. need that either yeah yeah or uh, we don't want to shoot the crew. We don't want to hit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more like you shouldn't blow the bullet up when it's coming straight out of the gun, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Really, that should probably have like a grace period. It, right, it depends on like how 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 user hostile we want to be. Like if we do a mortar again, and you drive underneath your own bullet, you, it should it hit should you. probably hurt you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, you know what's interesting? Our bullets snap now too. Uh, because the because the cursor position snaps so hard. Oh, and you can't shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I, that was a bug. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I, hadn't really I should thought uh, about this as a problem. We should fix that. I think what's happening is I'm normalizing the cursor position before I should. It's because like we have a we have a giant function that handles player input and it's like too much is happening at the same time. If that makes sense. Yep. By the way, I love. Yeah, we're gonna make it so you can shoot wherever wherever the mouse is too. But I love that uh, I can drive through corridors now. It's great. It's real. <laughs> but yeah, so I can't I can't aim at this. That's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. I can only aim that way. Well, we That's can fix I'm... it. Oh yeah, and we're about to. God, they killed I like so how you fast. you committed suicide first. It's like you got to oh, go yeah. out the you got to go out the right way. You you have of course I, I'm an honorable tank driver. <laughs> uh, okay, oh. cool, 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 cool. That was too much. Uh, okay, so do you, yeah, this um, is probably... do you play much mini games on your PC right now? Not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Though you know, I did uh, in a in a in a judgment break. I fired up Frostpunk, which was really fun. Yeah, the thing I was going to ask you about was the uh, Switch Pro controller is like weird on Windows. Have you noticed that? Mm. I haven't. I just plug in my uh, Dual Sense. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe uh, maybe that's it. And it works great. Yeah, okay. yeah. I should I should try that um, because I I think that there's some like non-standard keyboard signals that like the Joy the Switch Pro ends up mapping to and like <sighs> leave it to Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. Did did you see that the Switch just got Bluetooth headphones? What? Uh, yeah, they just turned it on. So they've had it the entire time. <laughs> well, yeah, all the controllers are Bluetooth. Oh, there's just a there's just lag. a Bluetooth. I mean, uh, I guess, but they said it's fine. They but said beware of lag in the headline. What does it mean? It's, yeah. Let's see how bad the lag. I mean, that is that is a Bluetooth problem for sure. I saw other people talking about it being less bad than this. This okay, got it. Yeah, it's um, a big deal. This, it's it's really cool. I would love to use my AirPods with my Switch. Yep, yep. I always carry around a wire and my headphones if I'm like on a plane, because otherwise you can't hear shit. Yeah. Anyway, they just like shipped that in a random software update. I thought it was really weird. I, I'm surprised it took them so long to do it. How long has the Switch been out now? Three years? That's crazy, isn't it? That's pretty weird. Yeah. Maybe they're going to make some Nintendo earbuds that are low latency to go with it or something. Yeah. How are you on I the Steam not. Deck, by the way? I don't really understand why I need it. <laughs> yeah. I kind of I remember I remember do you remember the Game Gear? It was like gigantic and chunky, and like it was like it's a Game Boy but a color screen, 
but also it's like four times as large. I really wanted a Game Gear. I I got one, and then my mother noticed that it had like an epilepsy warning on it, and immediately took it back to the store. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what was the Neo Geo handheld console? I don't remember that one. Uh, looks looks a Neo lot Geo like a Game Pocket Gear. Color, maybe. Oh, yeah, I don't remember which. I mean, these are pretty cool. Oh, these are, but these are, these are like, like modern toys. I felt like there was a, was there a Turbo Graphics, um, handheld? I felt hmm. like there was some kind of like, handheld that was like super alternative back in the day. It was very boutique and expensive. Oh, that's the one. Whoa. Turbo Express, yes. Wow, that's really, really cool. Do you like the built-in turbo controls on it? Oh, that's actually that's a little turbo slider there. <laughs> <laughs> you you've seen this uh, you've seen this thing, right? Um, it looks it looks pretty rad. Yeah. Oh. Um, I mean, it's just Game Boy, but yeah, it's a neat Game Boy. What's the other one that's co- that's coming out with a crank on it? It's a little twee. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Um, video game console with crank. It looks really sweet. I'd have the play date. I'd have a lot of fun making a game for this, probably. Yeah. I think you can get a dev kit. Uh, oh god, this this website. Holy shit. Yeah. Right. Jeez. This is like the standard 3JS like rotate plugin. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. They had they had an amazing blog post. Uh. Like their crank thing is like purely like braid mechanics, right? Where you can like wind back or wind forward the timeline or something like that. I think that's right. Yeah. Oh, and Panic is making it. It's yeah, of course. Like it's very. I feel like it's a very Panic thing. Yeah. Um, are they developing it themselves, or are they just marketing it? No, they're developing it themselves. I think. Oh, okay. I want to find. Ugh, this is much longer than I wanted. Yeah. There was an article that was like we. We decided we'd make a game engine for the Playdate, and here it is. And it was just really cool. Yeah. Uh, Playdate game engine. Okay. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. It's like uh, Mario Maker. <laughs> oh, yeah, completely. Uh, this is fantastic. Yeah. Do you ever I, play I Mario Paint? The... For the, for oh, very, only, only a couple times. Oh, but, man, yeah, that was legendary. Mario Paint had, I remember Nintendo Power, which was like the Nintendo Gamers Magazine, had like a whole Mario Paint issue. And they had the kind of like, do you remember back in the day, like the science magazines would have like basic programs? It's like, like enter in a whole game kind of thing, you know? Um, what? No, I never got those. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, no way. Yeah, like like Byte Magazine or whatever would have like these basic programs oh. in them. And it's just like, you know this issue four full video games you know and you'd like type them in and you'd have a game super exciting stuff but like they had a nintendo power issue that was like that but for mario paint and it's like make this whole scene that looks like the legend of zelda and you can even like punch in this the punch in the music for zelda and everything it was really cool that's that's really neat yeah i love it yeah i'm i'm super into this sort of thing this would be really fun (laughs) the whole aesthetic of this thing annoys me so much but it's it is cool it's twee as hell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you picked the right word immediately. But uh Is teenage engineering involved in this in any way? Teenage engineering? Yeah. Cause they oh, I don't know. these guys make um like audio hardware, music hardware synth hardware that's like exactly the same aesthetic. What is up with the I can't, I, I can't tell if it's intentionally doing that. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, the oh, OP one is gorgeous. what they're famous for, which you've probably seen before. Yeah, I'm, I, that sounds familiar. I I recognize some of this. Uh, these are freaking gorgeous, man. Yeah, they they look really nice. Yeah, that's the, the OP sucker. one right there. Yeah. yeah. I think we talked about the OLED screen on it, which looks really good. It looks so good. To talk of wireframe graphics, they really nailed the aesthetic there. Wow. Yeah, that is that is gorgeous. Yeah. What a cool little synth. 
Don't like the idea of playing uh, music on a on like rubber dome keys though. Just I can't imagine like you actually use the keyboard like a keyboard, People right? Do. Like really? Yeah. That's weird. Huh. Because they're not velocity sensitive, right? They're they're definitely not at this level. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, that is that is a little strange. Um, our former colleague Boyma had one of those, and I was Damn really man. excited to play with it. And then after ten minutes, I was a little bit disappointed because. <laughs> man, he was so cool. He That's, was he was I'm rad. Not surprised. He's oh, probably he like an Ethereum pocket. millionaire now. I bet. I hope so. Yeah. I saw. I saw an article that was like crypto hedge fund manager arrested for fraud. And I was like, please don't be Boima. It was Boima. And it, it was, no, 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 it wasn't him. It was like some dude in the UK. Oh, okay. Cause he is I'm like, always, he didn't, he start a hedge fund. He started a crypto hedge fund. Yeah. Last I heard. I'm, I'm Googling this right now. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I, and, I which means that he did really well in the last two, two years. Right. I, I hope so. You he know. deserves it. I'm always, uh, a little i'm like a little frightened that one of our previous crypto colleagues will like end up on a cryptocurrency that is actually a ponzi scheme and go to jail and i'm always just like a little worried for them they're all ponzi scheme oh i see what you're saying like one that's like overtly a ponzi scheme well, right like when like stellar stellar i don't know i feel like we had somebody that had good intentions but like one weird owner could have like ruined the whole thing right and actually turned into a ponzi scheme yeah but yes, I agree. The entire thing is, in fact, basically that. God, these are these are really cool. I kind of want one of these. I don't see Boima <laughs> on their their homepage anymore, so I don't know what happened. Oh no! I haven't talked to him in a while. I hope he's doing okay. Yeah. All right, I'll stop looking at weird hardware. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm fixing the cursor. Fixing the damn cursor. Um, yeah, where do we normalize the? Uh, player input. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some point where we uh, oh. get build cursor. No. Uh, line forty. Cursor pause equals grid utils snap. So we don't mm. want to do that. Um, see that whole building thing. Lines forty to forty four is true if you're trying to build but it should not be true if you're trying to shoot right yep yep exactly uh so really like maybe we should have a, a like a like a function that's like called check build that returns a boolean and it's true mm -hmm. if you built something and so we could do if check build then return because you built something you probably shouldn't be able to do anything else you should probably be able to build and shoot at the same time, right? Like, you, yeah. there's no reason can why you click you... both both mouse buttons at once. Yeah, yeah why can, not? You can. It's awkward, but I'm yeah. gonna do it. Okay, so 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 I think we just have some early out issues, right? Oh yeah, it can't stop me. <laughs> God, I love I love just the slurping. <laughs> it's like a tongue. <laughs> 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 oh man um okay so uh yeah i think i think that makes sense so you were thinking check build check shoot yeah and there you can pass a cursor position into each of those because it's calculated here do it's the, it's just right. the yeah just yeah this. you got it and we'll snap when we're in check build because that's where we want to snap. Yep. That makes sense. C sharp doesn't care about definition order, right? Nothing does anymore. No. Uh, what is this vector? Yeah, the only thing that cared was C and C++. And even then, you can do what's called a forward declaration, um, which oh, is yeah. super fucking weird. <laughs> I do remember doing that. Well, it's because the parsers only move in one direction, right? They don't, they, they're trying to take care of everything in one pass. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make this. Amazing um, what you can do when you're just like, I don't care about that. I have enough memory. I can have the whole thing <laughs> in, in my memory, which was not true. 
for a long time in computing, which is crazy. We're we're really spoiled. Oh yeah, <laughs> unbelievably. I saw I saw a bunch of people complaining about like the iPhone only has six gigs of memory, and I'm like, that's so much memory in your pocket. Six gigabytes. Oh my god. What else What else could you need in your like minuscule tablet? <laughs> So I found myself watching the original Steve Jobs iPhone presentation. It's literally it's, one of the best. It's like I was blown the, away. That and the Douglas Engelbart, like, here's how a mouse works presentation. Yeah. Who's the guy who did that? Uh, did I get the name wrong? Douglas Engelbart is the guy who, he, are you talking about the mother of all, mother of all demos? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The one where he's like, this is a computer. Yeah. <laughs> You've never seen one before. Right. And he yeah, does stuff that like we still can't really do today, right? Like it was very, uh, it was very it was forward thinking. Yeah. But so uh, uh, when he presents the iPhone, uh, it only has four gigabytes of storage, and now we have six gigabytes of RAM on our phones. Holy shit! Yeah, that's so ridiculous. Yeah, I just I just ordered a new one with two hundred fifty six gigabytes of memory. iPhone thirteen. Yeah. It's got that subscription plan, baby. It's kind of nice. I don't even have to think about it. It's the it's the same amount of money as getting an iPhone every two years. You know, if we wanted to upgrade our stream game, one of the things that we could do immediately would be to use our iPhones as our webcams because it apparently looks amazing, right? Yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I saw this. <laughs> you saw this today? <laughs> Right, he was like, we made some gamer furniture. <laughs> but then I, I I clicked on it, and there's only a couple of things out, but one of them is this very nice like ring light phone stand. And I'm like, oh, I'll buy that. I uh, everything everything that comes out of IKEA, I, I, I have a ton of IKEA stuff, but like It's all crap. It, it it's all bad. Good. The kitchen stuff is okay, right? But like It's okay. Do you do you expect I, that grippy thing to last? Like that spring in there has to be like so brittle, right? It's true. It's made out of lingonberry jam and only gets 20, 20 <laughs> yeah. stretches. Lingonberry jam and, uh, yeah. But let me tell I'm, I'm excited for, for some of these. Oh, man. Right. Let, Ledberg the LED strip is actually a cute <laughs> game. It's like Zoidberg, they, but it's Ledberg. They got me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, gotta get, gotta get your hardcore gaming desks. What's a gaming desk in the first place? I guess it's that. It's got a it's got a spot for your CPU. Oh hey, you know what? I just I just invented a gaming desk early this <laughs> week. I bought a wireframe storage shelf for my put, your put next to my desk. <laughs> and now my computer is about two feet off the ground, which means I can Amazing. leave the DVI cable plugged in while I raise my desk. Oh, that's brilliant. It's life changing. Now I can actually raise my desk. Amazing. I was gonna say I want this. I like that this is like the wall of tools in your garage, but like for your keyboard and wrist rest. Wait, why wouldn't you just keep that on the? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you put them away when you're done? Do you have to like them? wipe them down with oil or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Anyway. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, what is, what is this cursor? The cursor is a UI element and it lives on the client effects singleton. Oh, uh, literally none of this matters except for the builder. Uh, yes, correct. Great, 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 great. And this, well... You know what? It's fine. I mean, really, this should we should just start it as false every time, and then. Uh, correct. As long as there's no like heavyweight side effects to that, which I'm I honestly don't know, but um, it's hard to know. Oh, yeah. Active game object. Uh, I think it's a run one function. I bet they're doing some sort of like. I bet it's fine. I think it might call the enabled callback again, but we we'll probably don't use it mm. for anything. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, what's the logic here? If it originally was in that that if statement in line thirty three, right? 
So if we're right. not on the screen. Oh, you know, this doesn't. This just says if, if the cursor is not on, if it's not like in the screen, then we shouldn't do anything. Yeah. Which I agree with. Yeah. Including, including the shooting. So. Okay. That's fine. And if the build right. cursor is active, it's okay to leave the build cursor at the edge of the screen where it was before. I, I think, I think it's fine. What, what you just. Okay. Did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. Really, right. the build cursor should always be there, and it should just change colors, maybe, when it's not okay to build. Mm -hmm. also, also, I think the build cursor is, like, the wrong paradigm, ultimately. Like, we should have, like, a crosshair, and then if you're... Right, there should be, like, crosshair modes or something, yeah. Well, ha here's, here's the question. Um, eventually, do you envision building by hitting a hot... Is it going to be, like, RTS style, where you hit a hotkey... And then you click on something and it builds, or do you like the right click action? Because right click is like prime territory, right? It is a it's very really easy. It's it's really easy, and yet is building the thing that should be on right click, or should something else be on right click? Well, and I really did not enjoy Fortnite's like swap into build mode. That was weird. It just felt it was clunky. Um, the thing yeah. I mi the thing that's tough is that. I want to be able to see the thing that I'm trying to build before I build it. Mm -hmm. I would, yeah, maybe, maybe like you hold down shift and you're in build mode. What if it's like I, hold I, right click to build? Wouldn't that be satisfying? Ooh, and then re wherever you release it. That's a that's a funny mechanic because I feel like releasing a button frequently like moves the mouse a little bit. Yeah, maybe. I'm a, I'm always I'm always dubious of mouse up stuff because it always has a, a funny feel to it. We could we could try that though. Um, it's just it's just really about the visual representation because like yeah, I like I want to be able to know I want to have a little preview of what I'm going to build before I decide to build it. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to show like the 3D ghost version of the thing I'm building if I'm just moving the cursor around because I'm moving the cursor around to shoot something, right? Yep. Anyways. Yeah, it does yeah. I bet it it does feel I bet it would feel a little weird if you wanted to like build three walls in a row to get the like to not see because if I want to like lay them out, I kinda wanna do like click, click, click. Yeah. Oh god, no, stop, stop the shooting. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> can't stop me. Oh shit, can't stop me. Wait, I thought I shouldn't be able to shoot out here. Uh, no, you can. They're just the cursor's oh, out there. Just just off the screen. I see. Yeah. Great. That means I can do this. I can come in here and make my little Ooh. little nest that I was trying to make earlier. There we go. Yes, now you have a nice little home. Get some decorations. Set up your IKEA gaming furniture. Oh no, I can't I can't <laughs> oh shit. What happened? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm un, I'm uncertain. Well, I, there there are some some serious edge cases. I think. <laughs> I do think that the build cursor should snap, but the. Oh yeah, uh, it totally should. You're right. Um, but the shooting should not snap, right? That's that's correct. So I can I can shoot at angles. The cursor should be snapping. What um. Oh, the... I'm not using the right pause. That's all. There you go. Uh, cool, and this uses the cursor transform position, but really both of these could be snapped pause, right? Yes, that's correct. Cool. Stick with that. Remove, remove a little more cursor uh, from the equation. Yes, I, I totally agree with that. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Thank God I can shoot faster than that. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna do that weird thing. Again. Yeah, make your apartment. You you want to case yourself in? Is that is that basically what uh, what you're going for here? That's true. That's true. What I was trying to do, but uh, <laughs> it's making really weird choices around. Uh, it is making weird choices, isn't it? Well, thank goodness I can keep building walls out here. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> 
You know what? We're just making a prototype here. We're getting the general gist of it. It doesn't have to be bug-free. I don't like the oh, way no. that the things are rendering right now, though. They're rendering really weird. Do you see that? They're rendering? The, the bottom edge of the uh, some of these. Oh, you know what it is? It might just be the stream. Uh, I think the stream. It's also, I think, the chromatic aberration. Is... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It is it is distorting stuff as you as you sort of yeah. approach that okay. line. Boy, this looks really good, though. I I, I got to say, it, it looks it, it has a, a nice visual feel to it. You know, has the cursor? Is it off over here? Did I do the snap wrong? Hmm. I don't know. It looks pretty good. I guess over here it feels like I am clicking fully outside. Oh, hmm. Like I meant to build on this segment. Uh, that's a good question. Is it? I think that's wrong. Hmm. Um, let me let me do it. Let me look at the diff for this file. It, the snap function might not be correct. I don't know. I did refact. Yeah. I did. I did factor that out into a separate thing, but. Uh... Uh, make sure I'm just doing everything with the correct. You're gonna tell snap, snap, pause. Okay. Uh, so this sucker. I mean, that sure looks right. Oops. Uh, yeah, I wonder, and, and, and like, where's the zero, where's the origin? Is it the center of the map? Um, good question. I just want to make sure there's not like some weird sign thing. Like if if we transition from Sorry, positive where, to negative somewhere, that might be. Where is our origin? Yeah. Um, I think it's like right here, right? Yeah, let's take a look at the scene. Yeah, it's pretty close to the origin right there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. It's probably not that then. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Where's how is the raycast working? I, I I guess it's actually kind of black boxed away from us, isn't it? Like, is we're using some we're using like a camera function. Mm -hmm. Let me um, let me unsnap this for a second. Sure. So many. There we go. Oops. Ah, damn it! Snapped piece of shit. More like. <laughs> I was about to make the same joke, but I refrained. I was like, no, he's not going to find it funny. <laughs> no, it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Please build this time. Oh, my God. I have to start every game by killing this guy. It's starting to look a little funky going that direction, right? It's it's skewed, yeah. Are you always is the pointer always at the center of the bottom box though? That's the real question. Is it always at the it, center of It's always at the center of the bottom box. Okay, yeah. so that's what we can 100% about. of the time. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is our weird Manchester perspective bug. <laughs> I can build anywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the power. Utter, utter chaos. What's the nav mesh look like? Oh my! Looks like a mess. Honestly, this is kind of how the game could be. It would just it would just annoy the compulsive in us. You know what I mean? Like we kind of want to make neat, nice, neat walls. I mean, I think grids are cool. Also, it'll lead to shit like this, <laughs> which you can always blast your way out of, right? You can always blast your way out of it. I mean, it is it is funny. Yeah. This has a this has a nice like uh, uh, what was it oldest house control vibe like I know bunch what you of cubes mean. but at sort of like scant angles don't hate it 
I, I mean, it, it looks really cool to have slightly, you know, non-snapped things. Some kind of, like, visual texture, right? It, like, the game looks more interesting that way. Mm-hmm. But it's at the cost yeah. of, like, most of the time you're probably going to want, like, contiguous walls and stuff like that, right? Yeah, we, we can add visual texture in our own way. Okay. So are we chalking this up to just uh, optical illusion? Is that basically what I think, we're saying? I think here? it is, yeah. Okay. I think we're I think we're in perspective land, which is a bit of a bummer um yeah yeah what's our fov right now do you know let's hit that camera and find out 60 okay oh, right yeah i think it def- starts at 45 in red faction gorilla which is surprising <laughs> did you start playing that <laughs> i did i not tell you about that no 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 uh, it was horrible <laughs> it, no you see it was it's, it's um so I actually kind of there's like stuff I like, I was like getting out of it just like watching it put together because I think it's an older game and you can see their motivations much more obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, the storytelling is a little clumsy, but I I liked it because I could like I know that there were buttons where they were trying to push at any, any given moment, right? Um, mm-hmm. And honestly, the story beats aren't any. They're exactly what you would want, right? Like. They set up like a pretty good revenge plot line right away when your brother gets killed. They also tease you with the hot engineer woman like in the beginning, which I hate to point out because it feels crass to me. But that's like that's the button they're trying to push right there, right? Is they they kind of like lay that. I don't, I don't remember any. Okay, <laughs> it's, been a, whole, it's um, been a whole decade or more. <laughs> but but then you're like you you you're, like your motivations are so clean at the beginning. Like you mm-hmm. have a friend. The cops are jerks. And they kill your they kill your your brother, and then it's just like I'm gonna like tear their shit up now. I, I, I even think they could have like hammed it up a little, a little even more, you hmm. know, like on your knees, no, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but uh, I uh, I got sick. I got seasick playing the game. Are you playing the game? Oh shit! Yeah, I mean it is it is over the shoulder, which is normally yeah. fine for me. But I think I wish I had a way to identify what it is about these games specifically that makes me dizzy. Mm. It might just be the camera motion. Um, when it's, I'm sure it's especially janky, right? Like it's a bit janky. I actually was able. To, I got it on Steam, and I couldn't take it, so I returned it. Did you know that Steam has a nice. really generous return policy? Yeah, I've I've definitely like done that for a two hour session where I'm just like, I wonder what this thing I is think like. You have I'm like, cool. Forty eight hours after purchase, and then two uh, two hours of try it before you des- decide make a decision, which is actually pretty good. And it's I really kinda, generous. I kind of wish I did that with other games that I played. <laughs> yeah, I think it. I think it really punishes. Apparently, it punishes tiny indie games that are like less than two hours, which sucks. But oh like, yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, I think it's a great policy. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this build panel. It's in the wrong spot. <laughs> Do it. Just it just needs to be aligned to this corner. Oh my god, is this how you do it? You just eyeball it while you're typing. I mean well, uh sort of. I know the that that is how I'm doing it right now and how I do it a lot of times, but since it's two hundred eighty, I know that negative one hundred, negative forty, yes, would would be right in the corner. Yep. Um, but so red faction gorilla. Uh, I I think that it is a little bit janky. But I asked, honestly, like I think part of it was me getting seasick, and I would have played it more than that. Um, but I did. <laughs> That's a nice way to deal with that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. Um, the like the like the ter- like the like the building destruction, mm-hmm. um, didn't feel great to me. And it, maybe it's just because you don't really get awesome weapons in the beginning. You have to build up to like get the better explosives and stuff. But like it was kind of repetitive to like destroy a mm-hmm. building and like run around and like throw the throw the de- the. De- I, I think if they gave you infinite charges in the beginning, that would be really great. It'd be much better, yeah. Um, and I, I recall too that the it's like only buildings are destructible, but like the the first two games that series was like buildings and the world. You could sort of like wreck everything. 
Oh, really? I think I, I think, didn't know that. I think okay. Gorilla, Gorilla was like more open world and less destructible. Yes. Um, still quite destructible. It is less. still quite destructible. I had a hard time knowing who was shooting at me. I felt like that mm. kind of thing was a little bit janky. Um, it's brown. It's so brown. It's very brown or very red or whatever. And then uh, I felt in terms of like the pure like glee of just like blowing shit up. Um, I think Just Cause is like a much better game uh, in terms mm-hmm. of just like the, the raw visceral like, oh my God, I just blew that thing up. And people yep. went flying kind of thing. Uh, even though Just Cause has much less granular destruction mm-hmm. just cause it's like but, there's like specific things you know you can blow up basically but like really satisfying oh my god yes too, right? it made me want to install just cause 4 because i think we have it for free i think it like, i think, I think it, it was like a playstation plus game at some point i think it was a free one i think it got a to get a ps5 patch did did it oh just the nah just backwards compatible okay because yeah, it, I... it really that one I heard needs like a loading speed patch. Yeah, Avalanche for some reason their like load times are just really bad. I think that was just Here. the trade off that they made for because like the, the the worlds are massive. If you're trying like flying across a Just Cause world, it's incredible. They fit a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, but that game like when you when you're in a chopper and you're like flying around an oil rig and just like blowing pieces off the oil rig, it's so good. It's neat. I. I never fully played one of those. I should give it a shot. And then you like jump out of the chopper onto a speedboat. And I've seen like... people playing with playing with the um, there's like some sort of like rocket attachment that you can like stick on boats or cars or something. Oh, is that is that four in four? Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like you can make anything fly by throwing a like rocket grenade on it or something. Oh yeah, yeah. And then like you have grappling hooks. It's just everything about it's so funny. It's so good. And your your character's name is Rico Rodriguez. It's so hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they should have just named him Rico Suave. Um Yeah. That would have been that would have been great. That's uh, so just cause <laughs> two one of my favorite all time gaming experiences, I think. It was really fun. Just cause two God, maybe this was the one I actually did play. PS3. Uh, or 360. Yeah, yeah, this looks mildly familiar. Holy shit. Yeah. God, it's a silly. It's the whole fucking thing is so silly. It's so it. stupid. It's, but it knows it's stupid, you know? That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> cool uh let's see what what else <laughs> um well we've got enemies that shoot at you what can it's we pretty cool do you, uh what we don't have right now is a real like tower defense moment and i'm trying to think of like how we could create that right right now we, we hew pretty closely to like bolo dynamics. do we need enemy spawners do we need like a tank spawner or something Spawners, yes. Is there another enemy type? Now that we've kind of gotten like moving enemies under our belt, is there another mm. type of enemy that we might want to build? That oh, that's interesting. It's not in our Trello, so we can go off the Trello as well and lay mines or something like that. But like, it depends on like what direction we want to go. Like, if we want to explore the tower defense aspect of this. It might be interesting does, to, to design out like a situation where you're getting swarmed and having tower defense matters, right? Mm-hmm. It does seem fun, and I, I think especially the um, thing we, the thing we saw on like Rift Breaker and a couple other of those is like the swarm is really cool when it's like the default tuning is such that the enemies are just stronger than your towers, and you have to actually think. Um, yeah, kind of in um, Dwarf too. Dwarf that was really fun. yeah. Dwarf was really good. I thought. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Were. Was, was nobody. Was it basically just like not in line of sight with any of the turrets because it, it, it was too close? Oh, it's getting shot there. It's. I do think. I think it was like on it was on the money on this tile and how are we doing bit. line of sight for the turrets are we doing line of sight on the spawn point or line of sight on the center of the turret that's a good question 
I'm doing it from our transform. Uh, okay, so that's your problem. So like, if you have two turrets right next to each other and the enemy is like right smack up, flush up against them, mm -hmm. if you draw a line from the center of the turret to the center of the tank, you're going to bump into the turret that's next to you. Oh, you see what I mean? shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so should we be doing um, line of sight from... The spawn point. Not... Gotcha. That's cool. Well, that's easy. Oh, you know what? I think this is a reason that some of our turrets have been shooting each other, too, then. Well, maybe not. I feel like they're maybe aiming at the wrong thing. Well, let's see what this does. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so I was wrong. At, at least this is at least this is doable. In terms of recreating it, yeah, recreating it, yeah. It it took some. I think it still took some luck. Yeah. Um. I am curious. So one one thing. Neither of them is spawning bullets in a weird way, which is good. Okay. Yeah. So they're early. They're getting an early out before they fire somewhere. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Um. They're definitely getting to line. They're definitely aiming at it, aren't they? They do seem to be doing that. Oh shit. What just happened there? You put a block down? I put a wall down. I wonder I wonder if there's a situation um This would this would be the early outpost aim. Huh. Is it possible that if you're too close the raycast blocks itself? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that is, or, right. Huh. Well, it would block itself all the time. Like, it shouldn't matter how close the target is, right? This is this is awesome. We're not casting the ray from the turret, though. Or we, we were casting the ray from the spawn point, or from not the spawn point. Oh, OK. So that, that'll oh, help. That'll yeah. help, I think. Yeah, we weren't, weren't quite doing the thing we were trying to test. Good eye. <laughs> it's weird. Come on. Yeah, I want to think. I want to think about more enemy types. That's really interesting. Yeah, and I'd also like to try to. I think we almost have enough here to do multiplayer. You know what I mean? Oh no. What? Oh, well, he's well, trying to drive towards you and not. If you, I've blocked. I've blocked the path. Yeah. If if there's a way that you can make the other turrets closer, shouldn't he be driving towards them? Okay, that seems like it fixed it, right? It's hard yeah, to tell. Our, our other turrets targets. They are right. It's all enemy team. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I would have thought that if you drove to the corner, it would try to maybe somehow it got into a spot where there was no way for the nav mesh agent to to find a path that's interesting also if i'm if i'm here i am the closest target and it won't go to these two which is interesting Ye oh, we do give up we give up targets very quickly though right like find target just immediately looks for the closest so once i got over here it should have yeah it should have it should have gone for the other ones yeah because hmm. it's 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 as the as the crow flies distance yeah well let's try again i'm uh, i'm getting pretty good at creating the situation that messes this up okay i think we fixed that bug maybe yeah that, that part feels good okay and we have a logical reason why i think mm-hmm 
Oops. Fuck. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to be attacking the turrets, it feels like. I'm noticing that as well, yeah. I wonder... Like, there's no way I'm closer than the turret here, yeah. Yeah. Can I... Yeah, it'd be nice if I could inspect the target in that area too. Oh, yeah. Find out of type affiliation. I mean, is there is there anything here where like this is not updated for new objects? That'd be weird. That would uh, be weird. We can we can test this out by oops, just grab one of you change the affiliation yeah i'm just gonna make this a uh, friendly which definitely exists and it's right here okay red versus blue uh this one also gets a very long ttl <laughs> that's a slow turret cute i found it hello Hello. Oh, it finds me. Oh, hello. You're not respecting your mid distance. <laughs> what the fuck? Buddy. Buddy. Okay, I got questions. <laughs> I'm confused myself. Yeah. Um, well, it, we're, we're kind of at time, but I think we have some, maybe some movement update tweaking to do. Sure. Yeah, this. This should have stopped, huh? It shouldn't have driven right up to the tank. To the turret? Yeah, it should. Yeah. That is weird. Is there any situation where, like, from over here, it doesn't think it has line of sight to the turret? It's like, needs to get to this part? That, that seems... I. I... That seems like the only way that would get that way, but I also don't understand how that's possible, right? Yeah. Right, because it should have it should have stopped. It should have line of sight immediately, right? Yeah, and does it does it start shooting? Let's check that real quick. So close. Yeah, it, it immediately pops a shot at it. <laughs> Oh shit! You found me. Oh, it's fun to fuck with it. Once. Yeah, it's, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I see I see some mysteries. Yeah. Um, we'll file a, we'll file a Trello bug. We'll file we'll file a bug. Yeah, we'll send it to the uh, send it to the QA team. Yeah. I just want to I want to bogart it, but it's very focused on getting to that side of the turret. Okay. Our distance is like absolute value, right? It's not like there's like some weird negative thing going on. I mean, yeah. I'm using, I'm using vector three distance. That's uh, that's pretty. That's hard to screw up, right? Yeah, that's hard to <laughs> I screw thought, up. I, I thought so. Shit, one seventeen, man. Gonna need a clever name for this one. It'll, it'll come to me. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. Well, in, on that note, I'm going to stop the stream, and we'll see everybody on Monday.